everyone, it's Adrian Leo. This is going to be a run through of decks that I'm trading or selling. And depending on when you get back to me is going to determine when I'll ship it because it's the holiday season. So um, it might get shipped right after maybe like the 26th if uh, you guys get back to me a little later. So I am clearing more decks that I don't use too much because I do like keeping my collection under 44. So some of these decks I used a lot, especially towards the beginning of when I would collect decks, because when I read for the first couple of years, I only read with a certain, certain decks and then I started having more of a repertoire of decks. So the first one is the Sinking Wasteland Tarot. What drew me to this deck in the beginning was the comic look to it. Because I love X-Men and uh, both the cartoon and the movies, mainly the older ones, but I do like the newer ones too. Newer, they haven't made a super recent one. but. I do love the theme of this deck, and if you could see that there's different coloration for each suit, and for the Major Arcana too. In person, you can see the shimmer in the gilding. So this one's a self-published deck. You can see the listing on Etsy. I have the Dream Raven Tarot. So, it's a larger deck. It's a shipper one too, so they usually have a distinguishable card stock. It comes with the book. The book is short, but I like how it gets straight to the point. The main bird deck that I use is the Pro Tarot. Kind of a surprise to me because of the artwork. Pretty artwork, but it's not one that I would normally go to or choose if there was a pool of artwork that I could choose from. And if you see me do that, I'm just checking my time. Some of these may be repeats from other videos of trading and selling. But I have added a good amount of them. 
So this is the Avalonian Oracle. I love the look of this deck. I do use the Mist of Avalon Oracle a lot, which is a nice introduction into this type of lore. I love the aesthetic of what it comes in in the book. I just haven't used this deck. There is a system to it that you could use. You could do whatever you want with it. So the Avalonian Oracle. It's interesting because it's one that I looked at for years and then when I finally got it I didn't get a chance to use it. So... There's the Wheel of the Year Tarot. This is a super fun deck to read. Sorry, there's hair somewhere, but I'm sure I'll find it once I flip through. I'm so sorry. So, I love the backing. This is a deck that I wouldn't mind keeping around. I just don't reach for it. Super approachable in this and it suits an array of readers. So there's the pagan influence, but I've seen people that consider themselves light workers use this. That sounded like a snarky remark, but I swear it wasn't. But I'll leave it at that because I feel like if I kept talking about it, I would just make the comment worse. So anyway, that's the Wheel of the Year Tarot. And I have the Transparent Tarot. And I have the cloth that goes with it. And hopefully in the time frame that somebody reaches out to me, I won't stain it with anything. But there's the book. This is the older edition. I heard the cardstock is different. But this might be underwhelming showing it like this because you can see why it's called the Transparent Tarot. This is a fun deck to read with. This was one of my earlier decks that were one of the ones that I consistently reached for. I love building the cards up because I tend to do that with readings. of Gaia. Now the Dreams of Gaia is a beautiful deck. There are certain cards in here that the artwork just isn't it for me. I 
I don't know if you could tell how antisocial I've been lately because <laughs> just talking. Then they watch this again and think that I'm being very rude. But I really don't have the intention to be. So some of these cards I really love. There's just certain ones that the um not the meaning behind it, but the way that they're actually drawn. It's uh not one that some of them are ones that I particularly like. So I like this one. And it's the one with this backing. Okay. We have other decks that some of them that I have talked about in the other video. This one is the fairy tale oracle. This is the last one I'm showing. This one I really love the concept to. I love the colors and the um, Just the way that it's themed. I think the main thing for me is that I had a childhood, but it wasn't like this. I uh, I don't mind reading the stories, but there are certain decks that I do commit to and put my time towards like the sacred path cards and I use the medicine cards alongside that too for one of my readings and that's one that I really devoted myself to this one is not one of them so I'm Hoping to pass this on to a person that appreciates the, the stories in there. So that was my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in an, another video. I don't know, maybe it's just like me getting back to making more videos. Um, I get, I'm a little giddy for getting back on camera. I know sometimes there's a tendency of being more shy, but um, it's like a, like more of a, a drunken reaction to it. So, okay. Uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.